Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about why it is that aspherical lenses are such a big deal. Hey David, what is spherical aberration? Now, you might have wondered when I opened up this video why it was we weren't going to talk about spherical aberration because last week I said we were. Well, we are. And in that, we'll explain why it is that spherical lenses are such a big deal. So, with last week's astigmatism video, I said that spherical aberration occurs in all lenses because what happens is that the lenses focus light on a curved plane. Now, that curved plane doesn't necessarily have to be a perfectly uh, somewhat circular, semicircular curve. On some lenses, it can look like waves in an ocean. It can be flat for most of the lens and then edge out, you know, bend outward on the edges. And what happens when lenses are being made is that lens makers control plane curvature, focal plane curvature, by using aspherical elements within their lenses. And those aspherical elements alter the way that the light moves through the lens so that when it reaches the rear element, it's focused as close to flat and evenly magnified across the field as possible. So when aspherical elements were introduced to lenses back in the, I think it was 1980s, then um, image quality in general started to get significantly better because lenses were able to focus on a plane which was closer to flat. All lenses have some level of spherical aberration, though modern lenses, especially high-end modern lenses, do a fantastic job of correcting for it. And unless you're really, really looking for it uh, and know exactly where to find it in a given lens, in general with modern lenses, and this is, in modern lenses, let's stretch that back to the 1980s, it's gonna be very, very difficult to find evidence of spherical aberration within your images. 